new bags coming your way for 2023 from YSL, Gucci and Louis Vuitton. Hi everybody and welcome back. It is lovely to have you all back here again and yes today we are talking about the newest bags for 2023. Some that have been launched, some that haven't even been launched yet. A lot from the cruise collection spring summer 2023 coming your way. We all need something to look forward to and I hope this is going to put a spring in your step. So without further ado I want to give my shout out of today to TT1014. How are you love? Mwah! Big kiss for you and fragrance of today is couldn't wait to put this one on. One of my faves, as you all know, Angel Share by Killian. This one is warm, woody, spicy. It is powdery and it's got amber in there. It's sweet, it's got cinnamon, it's praline, tonka bean, it's vanilla. It is just a warm, the top note is cognac. So that will give you a tip for how delicious this fragrance is if you're looking for any inspiration in the fragrance department. So let's talk about YSL first. What's coming in in 2023? We leave Chanel alone for today. We leave Hermes alone for today. We leave Dior. We'll talk about YSL. We'll talk about Gucci and we'll talk about Louis Vuitton. So YSL, I have seven bags for you that you may be interested this season and that are not going to, you know, you won't have to remortgage your house for. Let's put it that way. The first one is a Jane box bag and I'll have all the pictures up above here to show you examples of all of the above and this I think is a beautiful bag and you know what I love about it it's a box bag but they have been very thoughtful in their detailing of this bag you all know I have a box bag mine is the vanity pm from Louis Vuitton which I don't necessarily wear from day to day because the zip is kind of annoying if you're going shopping a little bit annoying if people are waiting behind you and you're trying to get it together this oh no 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 why I sell have they have they've thought about this they've put a lot of thought into this and this is what I love they are listening to uh, their customers, they're listening to the problems, and they are solving them. So what they've done with this box bag, and it's beautiful, it's quilted, it's quite kind of vintagey looking with the YSL logo on the front and the strap, and it has a top opening. So it opens up, it's kind of like, there's the old camera bags actually that were like that, and it just opens up from the top, put your stuff in, take your stuff out, really, really easy as you wear it on the side. And as I said, I'll have images for all these bags. And this bag is coming in at £1,570 sterling. As I said, the best feature of this bag is its top open. Another one of YSL, and this is another box bag, but this one, I don't know. I mean, let me know what you think down below. This one is, it reminds me of a McDonald's Happy Meal, okay? It just does. It's the YSL box bag in leather. This is it here. And come on, look, it has a little top handle. It has everything. It does nothing for me. It's £1,450 and I just, no, it does nothing for me, that bag at all. You can get it in the different colors. Now, if you're into clutches, they have this beautiful one. It's called either the Sade or Said. I think it's Sade, S-A-D. D-E collection and it's a clutch with a quilted, it has a, an envelope closed, it is beautiful. I'm not that much into clutches as you know, I sold my Chanel one even though it was stunning. This is a beautiful bag and it's a good size as well. This bag is uh, 7.5 inches in length which is you know to fit your phone and things it's 1450 euro it comes in black it's got the carré quilting on it and uh, the stitching the closure is magnetic and it's a front flap snap they have it in black beige they have it in a vintage white and a taupe lovely bag nice price if you're going somewhere and you don't want to break the bank for a clutch i think that is a nice option the next one is the kate medium now what have they done different with the kate medium this year is they've made it reversible no less. So the Kate Medium, Kate has been out for a very, very long time, but they're upping their styles, they're being a bit innovative, and they're adding new little details, and this is reversible. So if that is something you like, they've, they've got the suede, they've got all, oh my, they've got so many different colors in this again. They have the beige, they have the black, they have the vintage white, they have a camel, they have a rosy sand canal, which is kind of like a brownie color. Beautiful, rich looking bag, and I think the winning detail on this is definitely the reversible feature on it. It's 1,890 euro, and again, it has a magnetic closure and a shoulder strap. Next up, we have the 5A7 Hoa bag. Now this bag, they have it in a vegetable tanned kind of a color. It's 2,100 euro, and then they have it in the smooth leather, which is 1,890. Again, it is a beautiful, classic, sleek, elegant, simple, very simple kind of a style. I think they have this in the box as well. Really kind of going back to the Y2K, that kind of era. 
and it has those kind of vintagey vibes to it. Very, very beautiful bag, I have to say again. They have it in paint, patent for 1,190 and it has an adjustable shoulder strap. That is one thing I have definitely noticed with YSL as well. Nearly all of their bags have the adjustable shoulder strap, which again, I know for a lot of people, you know, height wise was a big issue, you know, long, short, tall, whatever we need it to be versatile if we're going to pay this much money. So YSL, again, have thought about this and put the adjustable straps on nearly all of their bags. You should take a look, it's worth it. The next one I have to say I just love, it's called Le Melon, Le Melon Satchel, and I think it is beautiful. It's a smooth leather, it's 2,200 euro. It comes in black, it comes in dark green, it comes in gray, brown, ivory, storm, brick, blanche, vintage, brown, taupe, and it is just, beautiful i love this it has a curbling chain on the front it is very celine-esque very minimal very understated and very very beautiful timeless it's a real timeless piece i really like this piece in this collection i have to say go and check it out it's really really nice next up is the solferino in the medium this is beautiful it really is beautiful it is a supple satchel it's a quilted suede now suede for me is kind of a no-no i've destroyed a few suede bags in the future so i kind of tend to stay away from them but if you're into them and you're able to mind your bags this is one for you it's it is a beauty the cream is beautiful it has the piping and stitching on it as well which is gorgeous it comes in butter it comes in black it's 8.6 inches across and it also does it come in a box leather i think as well and that is 2600 the small Solferino is 2,500. This is a beautiful bag, I have to say. It's very YSL and very of the kind of heritage of YSL as well. And the last but not least in the YSL new releases is the 57 Hobo bag, which is slightly different, well not slightly, it's very different from the 5A7. This one is a quilted, but it comes in lambskin and it comes in patent. It's an over the shoulder flat bag. It is beautiful i love this it's squishy it's soft if you're into tactile that kind of thing you're going to love this bag the size is great as well i think it's 9.4 inches the lambskin version is 2300 euro the patent version is 2100 euro and i actually love the patent version of this it looks again very vintage and it is it's just beautiful it really really is beautiful 2100 yeah black antique vintage and it has the cassandra turn lock on it now out of these bags which ones would i would be my favorite i have to say le melon is one of them and the other one is this 57 ho, ho bag they are definitely bags i would consider buying from yves saint laurent i think they are stunning so that is it from ysl and i think they have a few beauties in there for you to choose from Next up, we're moving on to Louis Vuitton. And in Louis Vuitton, we have their cruise collection. God, there was so much in this collection. They had a, an awful lot. I looked at the show actually the other day and one of the bags I just love is the side trunk. And they have the side trunk in every fabric, in every color. It is just, it's stunning. Dale actually just got the monogram. I love the monogram. It is beautiful. It's, it's just a reflection of the original trunk, um, but it's a more updated version with a soft canvas in the middle and then the hard edges and the hardware on the outside the side trunk they have this new canvas leather in the side trunk as well which is kind of a gray it is a stonewash kind of effect they have a whole range of this stonewash effect as well actually the stonewash gray the monogram is done in the side trunk the speedy the never full the dauphine the cousin the loop pm the petite mal have all been done in this stonewashed gray. So this is very, very in for this season. The Speedy is 1,830, the Neverfull is 1,650 in the stonewashed gray. The Dauphine is 3,300. They have a Nanonoi 1,440. The side trunk is 2,990. And they have an on the go in this gray stonewashed for 2,470. It is a fresh spin, the side trunk particularly on the heritage trunk, and it is really, really beautiful, I have to say. And the choice they have given us is just phenomenal. The next one is the LV Book Chain Wallet, 2160. This is kind of more of a collector's piece. It's a reversible. It has the Matisse lock on it, and it uh, the gold on the side reflecting the pages. Yeah, it's done in, in, in gold. It is definitely a collector's piece, beautiful piece. Don't know how practical it is. Apparently it holds a good bit um beautiful piece as i said as a collector's piece next up is the bitsy pouch the bitsy pouch is 980 euros again not very practical kind of a novelty piece 
nice. I have to say it's it's very cute. Anything that size is cute. It's miniature, you know, really, really nice. Rectangle bag, it would hold a lipstick, it would hold your coins and it would hold your keys and that's it. I mean, one at a time, not all together, possibly. Next up then, the Alma BB. This has been done in this beautiful steel blue calfskin. Stunning, I have to say, 2,110 euro. It is just gorgeous. This steel blue is just magnificent. It's like the Pacific Ocean. Just out of this world if you're looking for a different color, new, uh, fresh piece for spring, summer. Next up, we have the Lexington, Lexington pouch, which is 1,960. Now this piece is kind of an updated version of the Pochette Accessoire, the original one. This is in gold, it's in debossed monogram. It's kind of like a reflection of, you know, the shadows of the moon on the bag. Beautiful, here it is here. Beautiful, beautiful bag, I have to say. And it's in that metallic futuristic gold. Really, really nice. Kusan is another one that they've updated. They have a lot of different versions of this. I think they have the, the gray version of this as well. They have many different versions, but one that really stuck out to me was this. Again, was with, it has glass beads on polyester satin with a lamb trim. It is just divine, I have to say. Absolutely beautiful. You know, it's a special piece. It has a chain across it if you're going out or it's a real rock chicky kind of piece, a real fashion piece. Very, very beautiful. The Capucines then, they have done the Capucines in so many different colors and they've added a chain to some of them. They have them in brown and mint and all these different colors. But again, the one that stuck out to me was, oh my God, they have this futuristic one, which is 6,900 euro and it's handmade embroidery with a satin base, laser cut and tinted sequins with a glossy effect, again, like the Pacific Ocean. It is to die for, it is a piece. It's not something you're going to bash around and take to the party. Well, you can take it to the party, but maybe go home early in case, you know, it gets a little bit ruined. I would advise that. Just have a look at it even. It is really, really beautiful. And then they have this other embroidery piece, which is beautiful as well, 5,650, and it has 14,000 beads on it no less. So if you're into any of those, take a look. And of course, then they have the Yayoi Kusama and LV collaboration, which is a Japanese artist, which is amazing, which is full of dots and infinity patterns. They have them on the handbags, the dots and the polka dots and the infinity patterns. They have them on the glasses, they're on fashion accessories, the glasses, scarves, perfumes, shoes. If you just want one piece, like this comes out possibly every 10 years or so. I think it was about 10 years ago when this was done before. If you just want one piece, you want a small piece, you can get the little coin wallet. You could pick up a pair of shoes, you could pick up a scarf, you could pick up the pair of sunglasses. This Yayo Kusami is done right across the board. The red is unbelievable in the Alma Bibi and the no Neo Noe, have a look at that. The Infinity is done beautifully in the Capucines BB. It's like a starburst almost. Really interesting. Again, it's a collector's piece if you want something, you know, a collector's piece that's gonna be around and maybe worth more, maybe like a Takashi Murakami in years to come. Have a look, very interesting, very futuristic, very out there, very cool, have to say. Now, last but not least is Gucci and Alessandro Michel has been the creative director of Gucci since 2015. And this year, the Cruise 23 Spring Summer collection was called Twinsburg. So if you think you're seeing double, double Twinsburg, you are. Yes, he had twins walking down. I think there were 68 groups of twins walking down the ramps. It was actually quite a spectacular show. You should have a look. But there are four different bags I want to talk about here. The first one is the, he brought out the Gucci Cosmone collection. And the first one is the Gucci Aphrodite or Aphrodite. This bag is beautiful. It's very kind of naughty. And yeah, it's reminiscent of the naughty. It's slouchy, it's got a shoulder strap. I think it's adjustable as well. It's got a chain on it with a double GGs, which is bigger and kind of more innovative and fresher than um, what has been out before. It's beautiful, very practical, comes in small, comes in large, and comes in a range of beautiful and different colors. The beautiful green it comes in as well, a kind of Kelly green it comes in. As I said, for the small and large sizes, it's a nice versatile and nice variety to give people as well. He also came out with the, well, the Gucci Jackie has been out a long time, but the, he has it in different versions. He has it in the mini, he has it in the patent, he has it, I think there's one with a chain, Beautiful, beautiful, such a classy, timeless, elegant bag that is always gonna be around. It's it's just so understated, so 
elegant and beautiful that it's never going to go out of style. A real classy bag. I really, really like that. And again, it has the adjustable strap. Another one is the quilted flap that uh, I noticed. I couldn't find any pictures of this on, on the website, but I don't think it's launched yet. So he's got this kind of like green and white flap bag. It's got purple and red on it. It's quite, quite punky, quite strong and in your face. Nice, I have to say it's lovely. It comes in different colors, white and different colors as well. So you can have a look at that. And last but not least, the bamboo, which is one of my favorites. As you know, I have my vintage, but he has, it goes from the mini, which I love that size, to the small, to the medium size, which is about 10.4 inches across. And then he has this punk version of that bag as well, which is like a purple and yellow with lots of studs on it. Real punky looking, you know, real attitude, purple and yellow. It's only 9,900 euro if you want to buy it. You know, it's, if you're buying yourself one, you can buy me one while you're there. But a lovely bag, I mean, not very practical unless you want to lob somebody over the head with it. You know, it's always good. Self-defense on a night out. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it and out of the Gucci then selection my choices would be for definite for sure the uh, Jackie bag or the uh, bamboo in the mini because I already have the medium so it would definitely be the mini and so we've a lot to look forward to for 2023 some you know spicing it up with the YSL Gucci and Louis Vuitton and you get yourself a cup of coffee or a drink or whatever it else and sit down and flick to the website and we can all dream or we can all just, you know, entertain ourselves. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you'd like me to do any up and coming other brands for 2023, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, be kind, be safe and be compassionate. Love you lots. Mwah.